Hey, hey everybody, Brock Frady here, helping you enjoy your ride. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the last great C-Class V8 because Mercedes-Benz doesn't make this anymore. This is a 2023 Mercedes-Benz C63S AMG. But before we get started, I would love to say a huge thank you to Impex Auto Sales. You can check out all of their contact information in the description box below. Yeah, that's right. Mercedes-Benz is no longer making this gorgeous V8. They're making the same type of car, making the same looking car. They are just not putting that amazing V8 in it anymore. And it's really not by choice. I think Mercedes-Benz would love to continue to make this thing in the V8. But the European Union says that only a certain amount of emissions can be put into the atmosphere across the entire brand and this thing puts out too many emissions in order for it to qualify to stay in the lineup therefore you got to get one while you can because this thing in my opinion is the most fun you can have for under a hundred thousand dollars now technically the msrp of this amazing beast is like ninety nine thousand four hundred dollars so after fees yeah you're going to be over a hundred grand but as far as the starting msrp you can't get much more fun than this vehicle right here and it is so gorgeous the paint on this thing looks like it was forged from a volcano or something look at that matte paint and it's called magno gray and it is amazing and from the cockpit from behind the wheel it actually looks shinier than it does than just that matte finish but i love this it exterior and given the beautiful red interior that this thing has holy cow i love the fact that it's actually a small car but it's got this gigantic twin turbo V8 that's literally handcrafted. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But first, look at these massive brakes. Look at these gigantic calipers, AMG, and it has Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Those are not going to be inexpensive at all to replace wider on the back than they are in the front so that makes them even more expensive they're staggered so you don't rotate them and also notice that you don't have lug nuts so uh, you have to have a special tool to remove this tire this wheel and uh, that's you know makes it even more pricey because I believe that kind of relegates you to getting the cars or getting the tires from Mercedes-Benz but there are your rear rudders, your rear calipers. They are drilled and they're all that for cooling purposes. Just absolutely incredible. Coming around to the rear, you can see that really the only thing that is kind of like shiny on this car are just a couple of trim pieces plus that rear lip spoiler, which is actually functional. It makes it more sticky in the rear while you're pushing the 508 horsepower engine this is a big panoramic roof that's shiny as well <laughs> and then you have a rear diffuser with that gorgeous quad exhaust and it sounds unbelievable it sounds fantastic from the outside but it sounds even better from the inside c63s simply means that it has more horsepower than the non s c63 model cool thing about the trunk is that it opens and closes remotely so you've got a button you can just push on the key fob to open and close it but it's just a basic trunk no need to take a look at that led turn signals in the rear view mirror and you notice that those are shiny as well so there's not much shiny on the outside because it just looks so gorgeous in a matte finish man it's awesome these headlights are something else because i've been driving this car for several days and they're of course led and all that stuff but there is a technology in these headlights 
and of course they're automatic sensing so if you know they they have the brights on then if it senses someone they will dim but you can see that it says there multi-beam LED and you can see that there's like this blue portion right there they just look wonderful at night but when you're driving especially if you're like on a country road and nobody is around and then someone approaches you they'll dim and then it's like a curtain whenever the lights come back up whenever the brights come back up it's like they expand and do like that it's so bougie and fancy and over the top and i love it big fat mercedes-benz emblem then you have a um, huge radiator right there it goes above the mercedes-benz emblem and all the way down below look how massive that radiator is and you can see it in the air diffusers there on the right side oh my goodness she's just gorgeous all of those muscular lines look how muscular it is toward the rear end right here and it's just it's just like mercedes-benz took an engine and put a body around it now about that the thing about this vehicle is that it's gorgeous I've been getting all kinds of looks. In fact, I had to put gas in it the other day and this guy comes up to me and he's taking pictures of it and everything. And so, you know, there's no doubt about it. It's a beautiful machine. It drives unbelievable, but it drives unbelievably when you're driving like fast. When you're driving around town, it is, it is no fun. Even when you're in comfort mode, comfort mode is not even comfortable. It's, it's just built for one thing. It's built to go fast, and that's all it's good at. I mean, it's a good thing to be good at, because especially when it looks like this, it better be fast. But when you're going slow, it is, it is not comfortable. The car does not want to go slow. It feels kind of herky-jerky. The suspension is, is super tight, and all of that is great when you're going fast but man when you're just driving around town it is something else you feel every bump in the road and it's <laughs> to be honest it's not quite a pleasurable experience but it's something else when you get to the country and you wind it out on some beautiful curvy roads and you start cutting it up oh my goodness she's a beaut speaking of a beaut look at this You just want to take it in for just a second, you can. I love this. And you see right there, you've got a little arch right there. You see that? You've got a little another one right there. Those are twin turbos. And there is an eight configuration because this is a V8, eight cylinders. Well, right here, are your two turbos and they're set inside the V configuration and those twin turbos they can turn up to 168,000 rpm when it's at its peak driving now that in order to put some context to it it's what gives it such beautiful beautiful response from the accelerator so when you're at higher a higher rate of speed and these turbos are doing their thing and this v8 is singing and all is well you tap that accelerator and it, it has instant response it is absolutely a thing of beauty which it's just makes it such a shame to be getting rid of this thing that's why you need to get one of these today this engine was handcrafted by our friend at Mercedes-Benz, Patrick, I think that's Yost, it may be Just, I don't know. But Patrick, thank you so much for putting this beautiful engine together for us. You did a great job, my friend, because it, it's, it's just a gorgeous thing. You can see that there is a real air intake right there. And there's really not much to, to see here. It makes more torque than it does horsepower and that makes it just for even more fun because you can really feel it pull 
when you touch the accelerator, that's what that means, more torque than horsepower. It's just a thing of beauty. And then when you combine it with that nine speed transmission and, and the, the downshifting and the, it, it's like blip shifting and it just, oh, everything works harmoniously together and it's just a, a gorgeous situation. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Most cars at this level have a back seat for the purposes just of being able to say you have a back seat. This one, however, is relatively functional compared to some of the ones that I've seen. And you can see that it's got beautiful, beautiful red leather in it. And whenever you put the seat back, the seat goes back for you automatically. And the way that I move the seat up is just pulling this lever here. But check out that AMG seat. That thing is so supportive, the bolstering. I would like to see the bolsters move because I've driven Mercedes in the past where like the G-Wagon, these bolsters move with you according to how you are turning the, the steering direction. Um, these bolsters do not do that. They're not active, but look at that seat there. These are heated and ventilated, of course, and they just are amazing. And this car has a smell about it that I love about a new Mercedes AMG. I don't know, I can't explain it, can't describe it. You just have to see it for yourself. But look at the interior here, those brushed silver chrome touches there that are kind of muted, but they're also kind of bougie and stand out nicely. And this one also has the Burmester stereo system, which is wonderful. And everything is just so well appointed. Red stitching there, red stitching vertically oh, on the inside of the door panel. And I love the way that steering wheel is. It's flat on the bottom. It's kind of flat on the sides as well. It's also filled with carbon fiber. And check out this center console the way the carbon fiber just cascades down from the top all the way down to the bottom with that AMG symbol there. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Of course, with the key on your person, look at that. It looks like a, a turbocharger and the light is throbbing, ready for you to touch it. Let's do that. Oh yeah. You have digital little digital clusters here right here and these are going to be only for driving modes right now it is in comfort mode and you can turn that and that's sport mode sport plus and race so you have all kinds of different driving modes there and then you have individual and you have slippery and this in my opinion is the best mode you can hear the exhaust too you have a button down here that gives you a more beefy exhaust sound this is an automatic shut off there um, a couple of audio controls here there's for volume there's a master dial switch this is a keypad that lets you make selections and whatnot home button right here and it takes you right to your home screen and you can hear the engine settling in there Oh, it's just gorgeous. Then right here is your steering wheel with uh, cruise and radar cruise and everything on the left side. Then you have a button here. And this is a button that you can push in, but it's also sensitive to swiping. And so you can take this and swipe it up and you can see what I'm doing here. And it's changing your things on the dash. And so everything is fully digital. And you can also use this one. It corresponds to the uh, swiping here. And right now it's allowing me to swipe through stations. And you can go left, you can go right, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff there with presets and whatnot. And that's all in the stereo. And then right here is going, going to be Bluetooth and stereo. And then you have your home button here. When you press that, it does the same thing as when you press the home button down here. It takes you right to the home screen. But check out that carbon fiber steering wheel with the Alcantara on the outside. Uh, Mercedes doesn't call this Alcantara, but, but for our purpose, it's Alcantara because that's what most people know it as. But you have an upshift here, you have downshift here that works unbelievably well. So now that we've been formally introduced to the interior, the exterior and the engine, I said we take it for a ride. Here's the thing about it that I've experienced. As I mentioned a, a, a little bit earlier, 
and that is the fact that it's a rough driver. It, it is not designed for comfort, like I said, even in comfort mode. But when you are in sport and sport plus mode, there is no finer feeling. I do wish that it had about 200 more horsepower because whenever you compare this to a 911, and I don't think it's too far of a stretch to compare this to a 911 because the you know the feel is 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 pretty darn similar and you Porsche enthusiasts are probably pulling your hair out saying me say having me say that but it's it's got a fantastic road feel it's it's unbelievable it's not at the exact level of the 911 that's why I would think it would need more horsepower but it's sticky it's capable and and I do have to say the sound is much better than a 911 and I may be getting all raptured by the sound of it but I'm rolling down the windows so you can hear this for yourself because it is quite a sound I'm going to, going to put it in sport plus and the throttle is all right listen to this U-turn, by the way, that steering, that turning radius is crazy. Listen. I hope you can hear that because it is, it is just art. Here comes a stoplight. I think it's going to get, no, we're good. But that, the, the, the downshifting and everything, it's like inside of this thing, it is, it is just I don't know that I've ever experienced a car before where everything works so well together. Listen to this downshift. Is that not the most gorgeous thing? Everything works so well together. because of the exhaust note it feels like you're going a lot faster than you really are because that exhaust note is just so in your face and I love it there is a button where you can kind of mute it but in my opinion you leave that thing all on all the time and you can in, in sport mode and in sport plus mode it's automatic but when you go to comfort mode it actually deactivates the exhaust sound but you can manually override that and still have that beautiful exhaust sound even when you're in comfort mode. Here we go. Wow. That, that is just too much fun. Oh, I love that. I, it, it is such a shame that this is being done away with because this is just... Oh, this should still be permitted to roam our streets so if you go a certain amount of time without manually shifting it then it will go back into regular drive mode for you there's also a manual mode it looks like an M with gear levers um, that one that will let you you know it, it won't actually change gears for you you have to remember that you are in that manual mode because it it makes you use the paddle shifters to shift. I don't know if you can tell, but every bump, <laughs> every little crack in the pavement, this thing feels it. But it's got just, it, it's worth it. It's so worth it. If I had this car, I would drive it on the weekend, all weekend, every weekend, sometimes during the week, because it's, it's just so addictive that exhaust sound and the feel of the torque and the pull and the, the the feel of the seats and the way everything is placed. Like I said, it does all things really, really well. And the seats are, are actually super comfortable, but, but super sporty feeling at the same time. Oh, you just, all, all you wanna do is, is just push this thing. 
and just get into it because it is just a glorious experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And remember, the most important thing of all, have a wonderful day, everybody.